What is up everybody? This is Aaron and this is my channel and I got a really cool Ghostbusters haul today. The new movie Afterlife is coming out soon and I figured I'd share a couple of my recent acquisitions. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you guys are all staying safe and doing well out there. Um, I wanted to bring this to you all because the movie is going to probably be a big hit and there's a lot of cool Ghostbusters fans out there. The cult following is coming back. There's They're mass producing tons of cool props and replicas of things. Halloween's coming up, and uh, I got a really some really cool pickups. Uh, if you're if there's anything that you guys are interested in, go out and go find it, go collect it, resell it, flip it, buy it as a gift. I don't care. Anything out there nowadays, pop culture wise, everything is just going through the roof. Everything sells. Everything is attainable. Um, check marketplace. Check eBay. Check offer up. Check uh, Craigslist. Anything you guys can find. Goodwills, uh, flea markets, anything. It's it's achievable. So we're going to get right into it. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things. I saw this ad on Marketplace. This was actually a $50 pickup. Didn't realize how lucrative it possibly could be, but I only got one item as a gift. The rest of them will be re to resell. First of all, this is a um, probably, I don't even know, that's probably like a 12 and a half inch, 13 inch Stay Puff. This is actually a Diamond Selects Bank. Um, he's got some nicks on him. He's really cool. He's a burnt marshmallow and this is when he's angry and kind of teed off um, But he's really cool. He's a piggy bank. Um, so I thought he was really neat I mean the colors on him and the paint is excellent. Um, I mean before it obviously was used and got scratched um, That was kind of a throw-in item. I didn't even know what these really were until I actually picked them up This is actually a gift um, My girlfriend is a huge fan of Slimer and she loves Ghostbusters as well as her son and um, I didn't realize this is actually a collectible uh, Diamond Selects figure. I just wanted it because it was Slimer. But I pulled it out and it says it's a limited to uh, 1984. 1984 being the year Ghostbusters came out. This is limited to in, uh, 1,984 pieces and this is number 71. And um, I guess these are like new in the box, I guess. I don't know if the guy ever displayed them. But check that out. He is heavy. He is pretty heavy. I mean, he's probably about a six inch figure maybe. Um, and he lights up and even on the bottom in marker or pen, it says uh, number 71 of 1,984. And uh, you can't really see him. He's kind of hard to see on camera, um, but there's LED, LEDs that go through him and he's kind of like a green, he's kind of like a green um, translucent resin with some like uh, paint texture to him. And I thought he was really neat. Um, if I were to sell him, which I'm not, um, if I were to sell him, I think they're, go I think he's going for like 60 bucks, which isn't a lot, but the next one is the one that's actually the money maker. I guess it's more rare, even, even though, um, there's only 1,984 pieces of this as well. Um, this is actually the firehouse and this also lights up and this is also by diamond select toys. Uh, they both have certificate of authenticities. I paid 50 bucks for all of this. He's worth 60 by himself. I could probably easily get 10, 15 bucks for him if I wanted to. Another authenticity card right here. It has the firehouse. It says number 812 of 1984. He is basically like really, really early in the castings. He's number 71 of 1,984. He's very low number, so that's really good. Um, this is amazing. This is also another light up uh, sculpture or building. This is the firehouse in New York City. And um, there's a little no ghost, Rowan's ghost sign here. There's a little flag there and um, it's still new wrapped up in the thing but it goes in that little hole in the front. And what I thought was neat about this is not only does the firehouse light up, but Slimer can be seen on the second floor window in both sides. And I didn't realize how much money this one's going for because, so Slimer is a gift. There is Slimer in here, but I have, I'm making some of my money back on this purchase. This is actually a $400 firehouse. There is only two listed or maybe even one listed of these. And it's and they're asking 400 bucks. Um, I guess they're really sought after or rare. I guess they don't make enough firehouse stuff. So um, I will be selling this one. This is going to be a huge hit for when the movie comes out. Um, they both do come with batteries. They do come with their certificates. The boxes are still in excellent condition. Um, these won't go down. Now I'm going to get on with some other items. Um, I don't remember if I showed this in another video or not, but this is actually Spengler's Neutrona wand from Afterlife. It is not open. It's still sealed. The tape came off of the middle cardboard slider piece. This is made by Hasbro. This is the Plasma uh, series. Uh, maybe I'll open it one day. I'm not sure. I kind of wanted to leave it in the box, but it's supposed to look like it's in a case and it says Neutrona wand on it with a caution tape. This is Spingler's Neutrona wand. It lights up. It's got green. It's got blue. It's got red. It's got plasma stream. It's got the proton stream. 
it's got everything. The little thing comes out at the end, and it's just really cool. I've seen some reviews on it. It's an amazing piece. The crazy story about this was I got it on clearance for 70 I think it was 80 bucks or seven, no, $71. I think I used the 10% off military plus a 5% off coupon. And I think I had like $20 in trading credit. So I got this for less than 50 bucks. Um, and right now they're trending for about 130 a piece and the movie hasn't even been, come out yet. This will be a great Christmas item. So I thought that was kind of cool. It comes with a stand. Um, we're going to move on to a more recent acquisition. This was actually a pickup yesterday or two days ago. Um, I paid a hundred dollars for all these items. Um, the backpack is kind of ratty. It, there's items in it though that are cool. Um, but we're going to get to the big, super cool props last. Um, one's kind of fan made and one's like, uh, obviously a retail store one, but it sells out. So, um, this is a Spencer's backpack. I think it's 10 to 15 years old. It might even be older. Or, um, this is Slimer, but it's from Spencer's, I guess it says Ghostbusters on it, but this was his kids, but that was kind of a throw in item. Um, I ended up getting... Ghostbusters 2 on VHS. I paid $100. Just bear with me. Don't judge me yet. I got Ghostbusters 1 on VHS. Um, I also got the real Ghostbusters 1986 lunchbox with Thermos. This is cool. This is made by Thermos. Um, that was in there. Um, check this out. Ghostbusters lunchbox with, what, with a Thermos. Isn't that sick? Um, that, that was cool. That is 35 years old and it's complete and it's really cool. Um, what else we got? Now, I... I don't judge me yet. Like I said, um, these were just some throw-in items. There's a Venkman uh, patch, and there's uh, two Ghostbusters patches here. These are iron-on patches, I think. Um, these were just throw-in items, like the VHSs and the backpack. Um, so those are pretty cool. I got a little Ecto-1 uh, model from uh, Hot Wheels. That's really nice. Uh, brand new. The backpack is super cool. Um, this is actually a different purchase, uh, but I'll tell you about that in a second. So, yeah, the backpack's kind of neat. Um... I basically got these two items over here for 80. I got the thermos and lunchbox for 10. Um, I think these are going for 30 to 40 bucks, maybe a little bit less, but this, I got this for 10 for this set. Um, I'll do something with this. I'll make this into something and then I'll sell the patches separately. Um, one of these, both of these items over here are a gift and you're going to freak out. Um, Ghostbusters fans, somebody actually made these ecto goggles and the boy do they light up there's a light on both sides there's a lights in the scopes there's lights inside and check this out if you guys want a super cool thing how's that that's pretty neat huh green lights you got yeah white light i mean they're not screen accurate by any means but they're still cool and they're for a uh, ghostbusters loving kid for christmas and what better way to say that you have a one-off pair of goggles there's only one of these in the world and he may want me to paint these olive green um, but these are not only the only item I got, like I said, I paid $10 for this. I paid a hundred dollars for this lot of stuff over here. I paid, he wanted 30 for these. I paid 20 and they're very, very heavy. They're made with PVC and some metal piping and they're, they're super heavy. Tons of LEDs in here. Um, very cool. But this item is neat. All you Ghostbuster fans out there, check this out. This is not a really, really crazy one, but this is a Spirit of Halloween one. Now, last year, I remember these being like 60 bucks at Spirit Halloween. Um, now, this year, they're going for 90 And then online, they're going for, I think, uh, over 120 shipped. But check this out. Uh, Cyclotron. It's got... I mean, how cool is this? I got this for 60 and I got this, the, the goggles for 20 and the lunchbox and stuff. So this would be a crazy cool Christmas gift. Um, I don't think it stopped until you actually hit the button. But I loved it. And it powers down itself. All right. So that's cool. So this will be a crazy cool gift. I had to put my own batteries in it. But I thought this was neat. I mean, it's it's pretty cool for what it is. It's supposed to be for costumes and stuff. But last year, uh, he went for uh, e, uh, Egon Spengler. And he had one of those kids. He had his own jumpsuit, like, made. Um, sewn and stuff like that, but his, caught his, um, what did I say? His hair was like Egon Spengler. It was all fluffed up because that's how his hair is. He had the round glasses just like him. Um, and he had Spengler on his uniform. He also had a little Ghostbusters badge that said Spengler on it. So it was super cool, but he had one of those inflatables like toy backpack ones. So he's going to be flip out when he sees this thing be a super cool it it is used but i got it for 60 bucks and somebody who loves ghostbusters and 13 years old i mean that's still an expensive gift and it's something that he definitely is going to freak out over um i mean for 120 dollars i get the same thing for 60 bucks and it's like basically brand new so one more item i thought these were neat these were also a gift for the slimer lover my girlfriend 
Um, these are actually vintage 1987 high C and real Ghostbusters Ecto Cooler bags with Rowan's Ghost and the No Ghost logo on it, as well as Slimer on the back. These are 34 years old. These There's six in this bag and they're still sealed. This will be on her display in her room. So I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, I got some really cool Ghostbusters stuff. I think I paid 20 for these on Marketplace, even though they lived pretty close by. I hope I didn't break Slimer's thumb off. Um, I, pro I think I did. Damn it. Anyways, but I paid ten for the. I paid a hundred dollars for all this stuff, which is not bad. This stuff was free. The backpack was free. I paid fifty for this. I paid probably. I think I paid about two hundred and maybe two hundred twenty bucks for all this. And um, two of them are crazy cool gifts. These two are good gifts, and the rest of the stuff I'm probably gonna sell. So guess what? I'll probably even out on my money between the Neutrona one going for one hundred and thirty, and the Thermos going for thirty to forty, and the VHSs and the Stay Puffed. I'm basically giving four or five gifts away for free. I'm going to break even. So it's pretty awesome. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you all again. And stay busting out there. Don't smoke unless you want to be a ghost. I appreciate it. Peace out. Stay safe out there. Goodbye, everybody.